too. I sort of used you know, I, I used like option number seventeen there, the back door into honor gain option. Uh, but it paid off, and we never really saw it because the game was over once I won that battle. But that—that's what I was doing. I was in a position where I didn't have to attack. I was just going to hang out and sit for a little bit. Okay, so we got a Swan and Dojo. So this is probably just a legacy. Keep everything again. So that would give me three, six, nine, thirteen, five, eight. Gonna flush the. Good flush, my lion guy. Stupid, stupid guy. The faction of lion. Get out of here. Nobody wants to see you. <laughs> Think he might see your own because you know he's part it of the deck. Must be tough. Yeah, it must be tough with these turn one flips. Oh, it's not. You still just want to develop your gold, but uh, it, it's hard. Like you know, you saw in my flush down, I had a questionable market. I kept the. Seat. And Ronan up. That takes a little bit more discipline, figuring out when he has to go versus when he gets to stay. Yep. So we have a forgotten legacy here, but I think what we're actually going to do is flush it down with Deiru and buy the two, three, two for threes. Yeah. Uh, and then buy it up at a different time because I'm allowed to do that. Let's see what happens. I will say one of the things that's great about this deck is the gold is so efficient, and the line personalities are just as good as line personalities. Even if you don't get the Ronin, you're in, you're still just playing this kind of Arani Sensi Lion deck with Fall. Like it, you can win games on your own that way. Uh, it's just the Ronin sort of opens up a lot for you. Ten gold. I'm thinking Shiho can stay. I want to get like Guy and some gold on this turn. Yeah, so, no, I agree. I think it's I one of the strengths of with Invest, but here we just know, oh, you know, get sort of two Swana Dojos, uh, which is perfect. Lion Gold, man. Really, really solid stuff. Yep. Turns out Forgotten Legacy, really helpful for the fact that it starts with three gold. <laughs> the old embarrassment of riches approach to design. Yeah. So, yep, yeah, we're just going to go. We could go double questionable invested plus digger holding out. It's less efficient than she hoped, but it's more gold. So that's what we're gonna do. All the golds. We both have all the golds. Just give these little tokens to mark. I need to pitch a pitcher card. You have to RFG the card. They don't let you do any shenanigans. Yeah. Well, otherwise it would just increase the number of discipline cards everybody plays, right? You would just, you know. The number, that number's already arbitrarily high, man. Yeah. They just keep getting better and better, too. Banish. Yeah, I have a feeling we're not going to see a lot of them going forward. I think they're, they're slowly learning that putting effects into discipline form is not the not best thing ever. Discipline's back in pog form. Cool. Okay, so I have 10, 14. So what's the best? So 5, 10, 14, or whatever other have. I can't think of any universe where I'd rather. I mean, it's resilient, so it's just sort of look at your traits and think. But I, I guess having resilient to copy versus the one force. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'll be that. So I buy these CDs. And uh, right here, you can see, like, there's a very lion esque draw. Like, on my third turn, I bought three, three, four dudes. That's something lions just do. Um, and only only I have the bonus of their own stuff. So. Too dead. So we flip, and it's a bunch of guys. So we have 19 gold of stuff for a 3, 6, 9, 12. 15, 19 gold, so we can clear even. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, and so now I think we're in this game. I'm losing three honor here, two from the pits and one from Shiho. And I draw two cards on the turn. And go ahead. So that is a pretty impressive display of personalities for his third turn. He had really good gold. Um, I want to attack and take a province. I'm not yet in a great sit position, um, so if we're going to attack, we got to devote a little bit more resources to evening it up. So we're going to go with four, seven, eight. We'll put down the band of brothers. Mm. 
where everybody gets a buddy. These are now Ronin follower. I uh, check your twenty festivals MRP. Which means that my season Ronin on his first usage can be up to you know, plus six force. That's just really good, guys. I don't know what else you want from your personalities to do. <laughs> I'm gonna Tarao. How about banished? Seems fine. I will use Miokin to copy the resilient trait. I will. Pass. <laughs> so I got to think about what I want to do with my dynasty. Six gold gets me one guy. Or I can just throw down some more attachments. And by some more, I mean one more, which would be this victorious weapon. So we'll put that down. We'll put it on... Season Ronin, he's already the super big target. Mio, okay, let's put it on the banished who's been hit with Terra. I'll try to keep my force sort of equally spread. Okay. I will pass. And then everybody at a province. No, everybody defends. Uh -oh. hey, this was a mistake I made. I just want to talk really quickly about last game. I think the, the where I lost the game was not defending all in the first attack he made and trying to like get some attrition going. Um because like just playing the two ideological differences, then I stuffed my own counterattack the next turn because his two huge guys were unbound. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake twice. I'm going all in, I'm gonna lose some guys, hopefully he'll lose some guys and I'll emerge from the dust a little bit better than he does. Okay. And now you get the advantage of the first because I do not have any sneakiness. Yep, so we have a lot of options for our first. We can Shiho down his two followers on the Banished because it's a big juicy target. We can play this uh, to try to chew our way down to the Season Ruin, um, which I think actually is really going to do. It's tough to talk around stuff, but basically, like, so if I replace Unholy Strike and shoot the Band of Brothers on the Season Ruin. And so. He's, it put, puts him to a choice because he can play an action to remove Shiho to protect his season run in that way, um, hoping that I don't have a range 3 attack in my hand. Or he can pump up, try to get the force bonus immediately, um, but then I get a season run off the table, like guaranteed. So, you know, we make him make a choice. So is that what you're doing? You're shooting my band, by the yeah, way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking really good now. Let's get that off the table. I think I'm having a little lag here. No, no, I'm debating. I have interrupts I can theoretically take. Oh, I see, I see. A lot, lot to be done here. Okay, okay. My bad, my bad. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna use the sun returns. Okay. Keep the follower protection on the Ronin, and then activate the season Ronin. Sure. So you gain a million force. Well, I mean, it's plus six. That's like okay. It's not exactly a million. Plus seven, I guess. If I ever manage to straight my banished. Okay. So we're going to Kung Bao Kung N to Wrath of Osana Wo and try to shoot the Banner Brothers again. It is do these shots. Hmm. Well, we've got a number of options we can do. That was a mistake. Do you want to back up before we continue? No, no, we'll keep playing, but I just wanted to point out that it was a mistake. Okay. So he's got his box for, for four. He's got Shiho. What is I could? Uh, I think I'm gonna use my stronghold target my season Ronin. Give him plus two force. Get his force all the way up to six. 
hopefully get him into a range where he's not so easily shot in the face, and it gets around his stronghold. I kind of smell another Sun Returns here. So let's see. If I Shiho, because he's not doing anything to, like, mess with Shiho. And it could just be that he has nothing, but that seems really that seems really optimistic. He has absolutely nothing to interact with Shiho. He's only three fours. So his followers are at five fours versus six on the Ronin. So I was saying my mistake was I thought that I should have, instead of playing that Wrath to shoot the follower, just pop the Shiho immediately to eat up the two followers. But now that he played it this way, I'm kind of glad I didn't. What I need to think about now is whether or not I believe I can win the battle, because his Banished is resilient, so is his Mugen. So if I think I can win on Force, and I should eat the two followers, because even though it's one less Force, the Season Ronin can die in Resolution, but the Banished can't. So he's at 4, 6, 12, 17. Sounds about right. To your nine? To my nine, yeah. So let's say I Shiho targeting season season let's say Shiho, Shiho targeting the banished. I eat the two followers. He goes to twelve. He sun or no, I said he sun returns it. He bows Muka, so that's four force. He goes to thirteen. And then I can play this card, take him to a reasonable amount. Alright, let's try that line. Let's try Shiho target banished. You got it. So this goes away. Top. This goes to the Okay, we're going to death on the wind. So I wanted to, I see him saying the way I did because I wanted to get my stronghold force effect before I use the first goal. So we're going to get something here. I don't know quite what yet. A lot of potential options. We could get send home effect, bow effect, shoot a guy effect. Boy, that's a really interesting choice. We're trying to win on force. That might be... Ah, oh, that's really interesting. So the card I'm thinking about right now, believe it or not, is a wedge on... Is a wedge, which seems ridiculous, because then if he targets that guy, you can't do anything, but it, it might sort of ensure I'm going to win the battle. In a landslide. No, no, I don't. I, I don't think I can talk myself into it. So, what's the next best card? I think we go. Yep. So I think we're going to do this. We are going to go for an inspired leadership, which are close. I'm targeting Miyokin. He's not a tactician, but I have two gold floating, so I'll pay that two gold. Oh, no, I only have one gold left. So that doesn't work. Hmm. So I guess I can't invest it. I will just... But I'm, I'm using Inspired Leadership. Miyokin hmm. is going to copy Seasoned Ronin's ability. Sure, sure. Not quite as good here. It's only like a plus something. I could have done more. I'm not sure this is what I want to do, actually, now that I think about it. It's yeah. plus five. Take no, time. no, I'm putting this back. I'm putting... Get back in my deck, okay? <laughs> I think we'll we'll keep it simple. Um, we'll just get a relentless for the banished, who is now five force. Yep, I like sure. that festival. Keep it simple. Diversify my targets and kick up another tactician, pseudo mm -hmm. kind of tactician. Okay, so on my end, so 
So my next big play is a. This will be four. Let's go with box to fear the baller. Okay. So that's two fours less. Puts me down to fifteen. I pass. So is there any way to do this? I don't think so. Man. I mean, I still have a couple cards. I can send home one of his guys, but these little range three attacks aren't looking very good right now. I think we just lose the. So we're trying to save the province. And Which I'm not currently taking, right? I'm only 15 to your 9 plus 6, so I'm not currently taking the province. So I just pass. That's so okay. cool. Is that your final answer? No. I'll... No, that's my final answer. Hey, right. I pass as well. Right. Up to 12 on her. So that wasn't good for us, but it wasn't bad for us. We killed a bunch of guys, and he's going to get a Shiho. Not right this flip. But I got nothing happening in my dynasty, which is kind of concerning. We're going to flush the questionable market. Keep a dude, draw my fake card, and proceed forward. Alright, let's see what we got. So we found another Shiho, which might stop an attack. He's, I mean, he's got a follower for his Ronin, because otherwise he would have bought his gold. But we pass. I don't have any gold to bow, really. I see your box is straightened on my screen here. It is bowed from the... I will put it in the discard and bring it back. I bowed it to Death on the Winds. Oh, sure. So we're just dipping straight down. We have 14, 15, 16 gold. And 16, I'm going to lose any honor beyond the Shiho point. And go ahead. So, second verse, same as the first, only not quite the same, because we're, uh, we're, you know, we don't have the same saturation of cards, but there, we do sense a little bit of weakness on his end. There is a part of me that really wants to just get in there, and we, we do have some playable actions. So, I think we will go with a Boyle Spearman on the Banished. Sure. I'll go with a big fat pass. So it was hard for me to watch, but you know, one of those provinces we know through game state contains an Anube Shiho. Can we identify which was the first province you filled? I don't I don't know if the game draws the cards from the left or the right. I guess I could peek. Uh, but that's the province they're going to attack, and I'm not asking for unreasonable game state information like in reality, I can slow my opponent down and force him to refill his provinces one at a time. Uh, so, you know, so yeah. Left one. So that's the one I'm going to attack. It's the one that we know contains the shield. And you put down a Karo, it looks like. Okay. I put down a Karo and a Boyo Spearman on the Banished. Do you see these? Yeah, I see them. <sighs> okay. So my three idiots defend again. Uh-oh. We were really hoping that he'd sort of feel the pressure and decide not to defend. Uh, Miokin copied Resilient as well. I yeah, know, I, so I, I assume. Too. Okay, let's lay on me, brother man. Jeez. So we kind of got greedy last battle, and it hurt us a lot, but... I don't know, I just feel like being greedy again. Greed is good. Someone told me that. I mean, that. we have to... First action has to be Maguro range 2 Kuro because he's going to get a, a band of brothers with that and things will get nasty. Uh, 
Okay, so now he's down to 6-4. So we've got a couple of sneaky plays we can make. I just don't know how I want to sequence things exactly. I think I just trigger the Ronin again. Uh, though there's a part of me that says, hit your stronghold, hit your stronghold, get that stronghold usage up, get outside the fear effect of the box. If I go use the Ronin, then he buzzy. So yeah, stronghold on seasoned Ronin is the next obvious play. And so I make it. <clears throat> Offering up the sort of Shiho Ronin trade. Yeah, which he offered us last turn too. We didn't take it. I I keep wondering if that was wrong. Um, our other option is to play this and then use this. But it's so reach around my head, touch my nose. Yep, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to Shiho your season running down. Okay. 3, 6, 9. I have 9 to your 3. So, uh, I'm back in the... Pass zone, as they say. Life in the pass lane. Okay. Let's bow my Sendayu here to Banishing Breath home, Mukin. Mukin? Unexpected? Verily, so. Why did he target... Mucan and not the banished. Well, for now, it, it's a simple, smooth pass. See what the next trick brings. That will be a... Redirecting Rage to Range 3, the Boyo Spearman. Uh-oh. So he still has his box. So offers a trade. But my guy doesn't die because I'm resilient, so I assume I, I think I can take a pass. Now, we do have some cards to play here. I just don't know. I have to take a moment and sort of debate. Yeah, I take a pass. I'm still up. That, box that you. line seems the same. So I pass. So I box you. I bowed, and then I passed again. And then I'll... Dirty tricks to straighten my guy. So he's just played a card, so now his guy doesn't die, but my guy also will not die. So... I think... And now that I'm bowed, my one sort of cool play is off the table. Doesn't have to be, though. You have... Three cards in hand, four cards. In four hand. cards, yeah. How much do I want to kill this Maguro? I want to kill him a lot. You screw this guy. I do. I want to kill him. I'm going to play a fainting maneuvers to pick up from my yard a dirty tricks. Or, not a dirty tricks. How about a relentless? I thought I had a dirty... I do have a dirty tricks in there, but relentless is straight better here. So I'll put relentless into my hand. Okay. I will... Pass. Play relentless. Jane make die. Give him a force bonus. I'll give you a minus two force token. Mm, pass. Ideological differences to send you home. Well, that's a bummer. And I had a fainting maneuvers, which I played, so now I don't have my move back in effect, so, you know, I pass a bunch. Me too. And nothing else, but buy a season run and keep all my dudes. All you. Okay. 
So we I mean, saw, we're really starting to fall down on cards here. We saw what was coming. Uh, so we got 18 gold. 10. 16 years, 19. I guess I can just use the slave pits unactivated to make a total of 18 and just buy all our provinces. And pass to you. Yep. And day yeah, it's the dude who makes guys. That's really helpful. Uh, but I don't think I trigger it here because I have 14, so I think I just buy my own, and I can't. You know, I'm now under him on fake cards, under him on four, unprotected season run. There's no way I can just jam in there now. So we just buy out our personalities and proceed thusly. I assume you made a guy there. You're, like, holding it. Smartly. I did not. No, 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 no. I did not make a guy there. I didn't have the gold for it. Oh, okay. I did not make a guy there. All my gold is bowed. Well, this is not the awesome clip we were hoping for, but it's also not terrible because she was awesome. So we're going to start with Teirao. How about the, the Nico, the highest force guy he got? I pass. And then, so I don't really want to commit Teirao, but I might have to just to make him respect me a little bit more. I guess I'll start with attach a tested blade to how about Kung An. Sure. And then so these four for sure attack. The question is, do I need Shiho's force? <coughs> or Terra? I think I said Terra. I don't think I can dilly dally with this attack. Yeah, I, if he if he did some kind of split, I was hoping he would try like a keep Tayrao, keep Shiho back, and then I could throw myself in front. But a full on is, is tricky now. You're going at the lion guy, I assume. Yeah, the face up guy is fine. So defense, I have three, six, nine, ten, fourteen, sixteen. Sorry, even on force. Plus he's got. Me beat considerably on battle actions in play. He has four relevant actions to my one. But it's a good one. Yeah, plus what? Eight, two, seven, four, four, six, six, seven, four. It's not bad. But I don't think I can defend here, and so I do not. Sure. So we crack it. And we don't have any like nice send home overextend sort of cards in this deck, which it might be an oversight, but you only get to play 40 at some point. I just choose not to feel bad anymore. Uh, four for Shiho, five for Sir Trumples, plus gold, plus gold. Attractive. We're losing two on the turn, drawing two fate cards, and passing along. Well. There's some of the gold. We'd been we'd been flying sort of light in the gold realm, so we're bound to flip some. So here is five plus the yeah, so ten, it's nine, whatever. So we're gonna attack for sure. There's a question of one verse two verse not assign the Ronin since he doesn't have a follower. Just how much do we want to put into it? I think I'm going to need him here in a minute. You could do a favor cycle. That's not off the table. could just lobby for the favor. I haven't seen any move back in effects yet. So if I take one and he goes for two, it puts me at one. Will I be able to take three? Probably not. It's it's an ugly spot right now. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he successfully weathered our early attacks, and those Shihos, man, it's just such a good card. Putting down all our followers. I'm going to lobby. And then I'm going to discard it and a bleak lands to draw a card. Mm -hmm. Those are my first two. You <clears throat> I'm on straight pass. 
This okay. deck is not a Jesse special. I don't get to take fun actions. Okay, all the Miokins gain resilient. Yep. And we're gonna get in there with all of our resilient guys. We'll keep the monk back. It's only four. Yeah, keeping a little bit of special yes. sauce. So he's kind of he's kind of half ass in this attack, to be honest. Um. And oh, I I disagree with that characterization, but we don't know what's in his hand, but he's got three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen force to our nine province strength. So our first action is we could drop him to ten with Shiho and almost put him out of cracking range. But I mean, we're definitely I think I defend with both for sure. Okay. Because I think I think if I can save this problems, I think the game's just sort of over. Uh, okay. So, so no engage. Yep. And my first is gonna be <clears throat> uh, Shiho Wrath to shoot one of the banished. Probably the one that doesn't have the force penalty token. Correct. <sighs> we will desperate struggle to send home your unbowed Maguro. Home he goes. Let's pay three to ideological differences from the bin. And send home Mukin with follower. Get that out, RFG. Okay. So we can kill his Shiho. Generate force for the province. Boy, a lot of options here. You can just pass, just kill the Shio straight in resolution. I don't think that's where I want to be. I don't think I have knowing that he still has the fear from his box, there's no there's no series of interactions I can take that will allow me to take the province and play an action to kill his Shiho. So then if he has anything else it's foolish to try to take the province. You still have one more ideological in the yard? No, oh, no. I think that was the only one. Have one. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pass. I, I think this is. It was. It's not going how we want, but we take the pass here. I'm gonna box to Bob Mukin. And I pass. All right. Um, I've been trying to slow play this as much as I can, <clears throat> but it's decision time on this card. Let's do it. I, I'm in a thrill of daring my, my girl back in. Okay. Well, now our hand is forced to do something. There is a box. So we're using a, a Death of the Winds on my Banished. Sure. I can't afford to lose both my guys. So we'll get some card. My instinct is just Wrath of Osana Woe to shoot his Maguro. And I think I'm fine with that. I think that's where we go. So I get a Wrath and shoot your Maguro. Sure. Um, so I pass. I pass. So we eat the resilient trade on both of those.
and I gain two more points of honor, and I go to Dynasty and buy all my stuff. So that was still pretty terrible for us. I mean, we got two guys off the board. We didn't lose anything, but we're just running out of fate cards, um, and you can see the sort of death of a thousand paper cuts that Spider Decks bring to the table. All right, we're really hoping for three or four guys here. That I think I was running pretty hot earlier. I don't think it's reasonable to be expecting it at this point. Um... I want to kung on the Ring of Earth into play. Mm, they pass. Teirao. How about Mukin with Follower? Yeah, I pass. And then... I think this time we can hold one of our guys back. Maybe Shiho can stay back. Yeah, he's only got so the three. reason we kept the guy back is just to sort of make sure I didn't lose two here, and I'm pretty comfortable that that's not going to happen. So now we'll just sort of see if we can offer a meaningful defense. Yeah, I think we're okay to just attack with these four. I mean, unless his two cards are super hot, but I think he's been holding at least one of them like the whole game. So it might be like a weird terrain or something. All four attack the middle. Yep, and so it goes. And then buy my stuff, and I think we'll actually flush the. Uh, what's it called? It's three. Six, ah, screw it. My gold broke down so that I want to buy everything. Oh, that's awful. That is so awful. So we're way behind on math. It's pretty ugly now. We're going to blow Family Library, get rid of this questionable. We're going to get the guy who makes guys into our provinces. So that at least lets us get a little sauce running here. So I do all that stuff. So I've now taken two actions. Yeah, I'm on past all phase. So despite winning like four battles, we haven't won any of the big ones. And it's really killing us here. Take a province, does nothing, so I don't really know what my game plan is. Here's a Boyle Spearman. Put it on a seasoned. Mm. So we need to assign enough to credibly take a province. It looks like this. Keep this back. Not even sure that's enough. Keep this fucker back. Oh, to have a conqueror to copy. <laughs> the resilient is really putting me into some fits this game, though. We could lobby, but it's not worth it for defense purposes, and I'm happy with that one card. I can't think of any other card I'd rather have, to be honest, so... Okay, these three guys attack our province. Gotta mm -hmm. attack at some point. My three guys defend, for sure. We got three right. printed battle actions, plus the box, plus three cards in hand. It's an easy you defense. get first action. Um... We're going to go with Unholy Strike Off the Boyo Spearman. Do the shit. We are going to Serenity to kill Shiho. Dead. Um, let's use Konishi's minus. Let's actually not dance around. Let's just box to bow Season Ronin. Lion Stronghold on Lion Ancestor. Sure. So you're at six. Seven, I'm not sure eight. what you're counting. I'm counting your five, five, six. Five, eight, nine. I'm at nine. Seven, eight, nine. To my six. Seven. Six, three, four. I can. Ideological differences home the Lion Ancestor. Homie goes. 
Mm, pass. Okay, this game is over. I mean, we made some semi bluffs because you got to try to make some moves to get into the game. I didn't feel like I could just sit there, but he called. He called our bluff every time we attacked, and he crushed us every time. Well, I don't know what crushed us. He he did enough every time. So on to game three.